Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Career Prep. Today we will learn about successive division. Questions on this topic are very frequently asked in many competitive exams. Once you are perfect with a concept, you can answer any question on this topic easily and correctly. So please understand the concept well. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. So let's understand what is successive division. When you divide a number by another number, if the quotient of this first division is used as the dividend in the next division, such a division is called successive division. A successive division process can continue up to any number of steps until the quotient in the division becomes zero for the first time. So a successive division can be continued till the quotient becomes zero. So in successive division, the quotient in the first division is taken and divided in the second division. The quotient in the second division is taken as the dividend in the third division. The quotient in the third division is taken as the dividend in the fourth division and so on. Let's understand this with an example. Let's look at this example of number 72 being divided successively by 5, 3 and 2. So 72 is divided by 5. You get the quotient as 14 and 2 as the remainder. But this quotient 14 becomes the dividend for the next division. So 14 is divided by 3. When 14 is divided by 3, you get the quotient as 4 and remainder as 2. This quotient now becomes the dividend for the next division. 4 is divided by 2. So when 4 is divided by 2, we get 2 as the quotient and 0 as the remainder. So when 72 is divided successively by 5, 3 and 2, it leaves remainders 2, 2 and 0 respectively. Question 1. Find the remainders when 2, 4, 7, 9 is divided successively by the divisors 3, 5, 7 and 2. You are given 4 answer options. You have to find out which of these answer options is the correct one. So now we have to divide the number 2479 first by 3. When you divide 2479 by 3, you get 826 as the quotient and 1 as the remainder. Now, this quotient 826 becomes the number or dividend for the next division. So, 826 is divided by the next number. 5. So when 826 is divided by 5, you get 165 as the quotient and 1 as the remainder. Now 165 becomes the dividend for the next division. 165 is divided by the next number 7. So when 165 is divided by 7, you get 23 as the quotient and 4 as the remainder. Now 23 becomes the dividend for the next division by 2. So when 23 is divided by 2, you get 11 as the quotient and 1 as the remainder. So when 2, 4, 7, 9 is divided successively by the divisors 3, 5, 7 and 2, you get the remainders 1, 1, 4 and 1 respectively. 
so answer option c is correct question 2 a number was divided successively in order by 4 5 and 6 the remainders were respectively 2 3 and 4 find the number you are given four answer options and you have to select which of these options is correct in this problem since the number is not given we have to start solving from the last row first write the divisors and remainders in order let the last quotient be 1 now to find the previous number we have to use the formula number is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so now we have 1 as the last quotient to get this number you have to multiply 6 with 1 and then add 4 so 6 multiplied by 1 plus 4 is 10 10 is the number here now to get the previous number you have to multiply 5 with 10 and then add 3 so 5 multiplied by 10 plus 3 is 53 to get this number you have to multiply 4 with 53 and add 2 so 4 into 53 plus 2 is 214 so 214 is the required number so the correct answer is option a 214 question 3 a number when divided successively by 4 and 5 leaves remainders 1 and 4 respectively find the respective remainders when the order of the divisors is reversed you are given four answer options and you have to find out which of these answer options is the correct one here in this problem since the number is not given we have to start solving from the last row first write the divisors and the remainders in order let the last quotient be 1 to find the previous number you have to use the formula number is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder so now you have 1 as the last quotient so to find the previous number you have to multiply 5 with 1 and then add 4 so 5 multiplied by 1 plus 4 is nothing but 9 to find the previous number to this you have to multiply 4 with 9 and then add 1 so 4 multiplied by 9 plus 1 is nothing but 37 so the number is 37 it is given that the order of the divisors is reversed earlier the divisors were in the order 4 and 5 now when the divisors when the order of the divisors is reversed it becomes 5 and 4 so 37 is successively divided by 5 and 4 and the remainders have to be found out so when 37 is divided by 5 you get 7 as the quotient and 2 as the remainder this 7 now becomes the number for the next division when 7 is divided by 4 you get 1 as the quotient and 3 as the remainder so finally you get the remainders as 2 and 3 so the correct answer is option b 2 3 question 4 a number was divided successively in order by 5 and 6 the remainders were respectively 3 and 4 find the general form of the number here you are given four answer options and you have to find out which of these answer options is the correct one here in this problem 
since the number is not given we have to start solving from the last row so first write the divisors and the remainders in order since you have to find the general form of the number let the last quotient be k to find the previous number to this you have to use the formula number is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder so here you have k as the last quotient now to get the previous number you have to multiply 6 with k and then add 4 6 multiplied by k plus 4 is nothing but 6k plus 4 now to find the previous number to this you have to multiply 5 with 6k plus 4 and then add 3 5 multiplied by 6k plus 4 plus 3 is nothing but 30k plus 23 5 multiplied by 6k is 30k 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 20 plus 3 is 23 so 30k plus 23 is the required general number so the correct answer is option d 30k plus 23 question 5 a number when divided successively by 5 and 2 gives respective remainders of 3 and 1 what will be the remainder when the largest such two digit number is divided by 12 you are given four answer options and you have to find out which of these answer options is the correct one here since the number is not given we have to start solving from the last row first write the divisors and the remainder in order here the general form of the number is to be found out first so let the last quotient be k to find the previous number we have to use the formula number is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder so now we have k as the last quotient to find the previous number you have to multiply 2 with k and then add 1 so 2 multiplied by k plus 1 is nothing but 2k plus 1 to find the previous number you have to multiply 5 with 2k plus 1 and then add 3 5 multiplied by 2k plus 1 plus 3 is nothing but 10k plus 8 5 multiplied by 2k is 10k 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8 so 10k plus 8 is the required general number now the value of k can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on but you are required to find out the largest two digit number you will get the largest two digit number only if the value of k is 9 10 multiplied by 9 is 90 plus 8 is 98 if you take the value of k as 10 then you will get 10 multiplied by 10 plus 8 is 108 which is a three digit number so only if you take the value of k as 9 you will get the largest two digit number so the the largest two digit number is 10 multiplied by 9 plus 8 which is 98 98 when divided by 12 leaves a remainder of 2 so the correct answer is option c 2 question 6 a number when successfully divided by 3 4 and 7 leaves respective remainders of 2 3 and 1 how many such numbers are there under 1000 so you have to find out how many such numbers are there which are less than 1000 you are given four answer options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one here in this problem since the number is not given we have to start solving from the last row so first 
write the divisors and the remainders in order here the general form of the number is to be found out first so let the last quotient be k to find the previous number we have to use the formula number is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so now we have the last quotient as k to find the previous number we have to multiply 7 with k and then add 1 7 multiplied by k plus 1 is nothing but 7k plus 1 to find the previous number to this you have to multiply 4 with 7k plus 1 and then add 3 So, four multiplied by seven k plus one plus three is nothing but twenty-eight k plus seven. Four multiplied by seven k is twenty-eight k. Four multiplied by one is four plus three is seven. So, twenty-eight k plus seven is the number here. To find the previous number to this, you have to multiply three with twenty-eight k plus seven and then add two. 3 multiplied by 28k plus 7 plus 2 is nothing but 24k plus 23 3 multiplied by 28k plus 7 plus 2 is nothing but 84k plus 23 so when you multiply 3 with 28k you get 84k 3 multiplied by 7 is 21 plus 2 is 23 so 84k plus 23 is the number here hence the general form is 84k plus 23 now the value of k can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on but only if the value of k is between 0 and 11 the number is less than 1000 if you take the value of k as 12 the number you get is will be more than 1000 so for k is equal to 1 0 1 2 to 11 the number will be less than 1000 from 0 to 11 there are 12 numbers so there are 12 numbers less than 1000 that satisfy this condition so the correct answer is option b 12 viewers please go through this video till you are perfect with the concept practice these problems by yourself this will help you to understand the method correctly watch our next video to learn about squares square roots cubes and cube roots If you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video thank you